Art has always been a big part of my life. Whether it was watching my mother make art as a child, or watching cartoons and anime as I grew up, or later making art myself, art has always been a part of me. Though I thus far have focused on 2D art, whiteboard art to be specific, I've wanted to move into the realm of animation for a long time. I have artist streamer friends who are already adept at creating 3D models, and that style has just been interesting to me. I do respect the art of 2D animation, but I feel like I want to learn 3D more. After looking through the different online programs offered at Full Sail, computer animation seemed like the right fit for me. With Pete Banstra as the program director, I'm sure I'll be in good hands. There are a plethora of programs that I will utilize throughout the course of my schooling at Full Sail. Those include the Foundry Nuke for compositing and effects, Synth Eyes for motion tracking, ZBrush, Maya, and Blender for modeling and rigging, and Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, among other things. Though I have used Autodesk CAD programs in the past, I feel like extrusion-based CAD functions will be the most difficult. I'm sure many improvements have been made since I used AutoCAD back in 2006, and my skills and knowledge have vastly expanded since then, but extrusions gave me the most difficulty previously, and I'm wary that may still be the case. Therefore, whatever class uses CAD-based extrusions the most will probably be the most difficult for me. If I do encounter difficulties, I'll spend extra time with my instructors, if possible, and seek out a tutor via the Full Sail community. And even then, if I'm not good at extrusions, hopefully, I'll be good at ZBrush slash Blender modeling, where it's more like working with clay. I believe I've already taken my easiest class in the course. Creative presentation was basically just a more fun version of public speaking. In my military career, I've had to do countless speeches and presentations in various scenarios and to varying crowd sizes. I've also had public speaking courses in both my previous bachelor's and associate degree courses. It was like riding a bike, and nothing surprised me or felt difficult in that class. I don't expect much to be easy or simple going forward. I believe TM was the last basic class I have that won't require learning skills specific to my road to mastery of my craft. Since I've qualified the basic classes like math, physics, and English already, it'll be almost entirely courses focused on building my computer animation skills. I've already done what I can do to make sure I can focus on my classwork. I'm using my GI Bill to attend this program and I moved somewhere with a lower cost of living so I won't have to work a job while I'm in school. Doing well in my school will be my full-time job, allowing me to put my all into getting good at what I learn. As of right now, I think I want to specialize in character rigging and motion tracking animation. I know plenty of people already who can make amazing 3D models. I've always been more of a 2D physical media person when it comes to the art I create. In order to keep doing my art but extend my toolbox to animation, I believe rigging and animation through motion tracking will be my best route. I like motion tracking animation because of the lifelike results you can get when physically doing what will be translated into the digital realm when possible. I'm looking forward to beginning my computer animation journey and finding where it leads. This is the way.